All right, you guys, I'm as nervous as a cat in a rocking chair factory. Okay, you guys don't have to watch two hours of this. It's just now, we just wait and see if we're successful. Thank you. Wouldn't that be cool? Don't mind me, guys. No more lunch. I got a, a scarf down a peanut butter sandwich while I'm working. Okay, I'm going to move you over to here because we have a different problem now. But I think it's worth looking at. I'm going to uh, take the bowl off. I'll take my slave tank off. I might be able to, yeah, I have to take it off. And I'm going to just take the bowl off and blow a tiny bit of air through that jet. <coughs> I need a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. Oh, I'm sad about this, but this may have been going on for Brian for a while because he's had there's been fluid leaking everywhere, right? Eh? Let's see how much dirt's in here. Not bad. A little bit. And there's the seal. That's going to have to be cleaned. Now, hmm, I need a tube. Fairly long tube. Just to, I'm going to just blow this. I'll just use my mouth because then I know the pressure is low. Carburetor turned off? Yes, it is. No, that's passing. That's passing air. Rats. Well, I guess I better get that carburetor off there and get, well. Let's do one step first before you disassemble. There could be just a chunk of dirt, eh? Now I can use this a little bit better because there's nothing in the way. You can see the air coming out. This is the uh, float. Has it got it? No, I don't think it does. I was thinking, does this have, uh, does it have water in it? But I don't think it does. Get my little chair. I'm going to move you guys over a little bit. Are you still looking? Sort of, kind of? I know what I'm going to do. I know, hey, my mind started to work. This is a shooter upper, eh? Okay, now I'm going to squirt a little bit of gas back in there. I'm just going to hold these two guys together. Turn on the fuel. Good. That just rinses everything, right? Now I'm going to put this carburetor back together again. And we're going to just see if it stops leaking. Sometimes this does the trick and sometimes it doesn't. It's running good, right? 
Good boy. Good. Now I could tell by blowing in it when I was holding the float closed that it was leaking, right? But now I'm going to do it again. I've still got this hose on here. Yep, it's holding air back. Yeah, that might do it. <coughs> Obey one, Kenobi. I'm gonna get this seal to stay in there first. I'm gonna clean it up with some fuel. And it should stay in there because it's got little nubbies, right? I'm gonna get oh yeah, I'm gonna clean this bowl here while we're at it. It was pretty good, eh? Fine, it's good stuff. Now, okay, now we gotta get this rib seal in here. And our little wrenchy poo. Is that gonna work? Stick my tongue out, right? Now I'm going to get my mirror. And just have a look at that from underneath. I should have probably done this with the bowl intact. Looks good. Now we take our gasoline again from our sleeve tank. Pull this guy off. Stick this guy back on. It's amazing how soft a, a, a fuel line can be. Okay, we turn this one off. And this is already on. So now we're going to just let that perk. My guess is it's going to be all right. I felt air pressure with my tongue. I know that's pretty bizarre. Now, to make sure, I'm just going to crack this to make sure we have fuel. Yes, we do. Wipe things up. I'm going to take my, well I've got the opportunity, I'm going to take my little light and my magnifying glass and just look underneath there for more oil leaks underneath the cover here. I don't see any oil. It had oil on it. Okay, I'm going to start it up one more time before we reassemble this bad boy. Starting engine.
There's a hole right down in there. No, I don't see any moisture. Okay, Brian, that's going to have to do, buddy. Reassemble! I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay, Brian, I've ran the mower for about 20 minutes in this configuration starting it with a drill and uh, it's not leaking. It, I should start seeing something on the low parts underneath the uh, flywheel with my magnifying glass and my light. Thanks Brian. Alright, we're getting there. I got the tank all laid in there. The gas line routed through and I realized I just dropped my little tiny little uh, Honda gas clamp. <laughs> okay, so you see that little gas clamp there? I dropped it, but good thing I had another one. So here we go. We're going to plug the gas line in now. I know it's hard to see. I can hardly see it myself, so I'll just do it. And then we'll move that gas clamp up. Hard to do when it's on the machine. Eh? Got a quarter of an inch to go. There we go. She's on. Yep. All right. So now this is, this is interesting. Uh, the gas tank is held on with a big bolt. And it looks like a 12 or 13 mil. And just pop that down with the ratchet. I have no idea how many revolutions I gotta go through. Quite a few, apparently. Check the connection to the tank. Should be good. Okay. My gosh, we're getting there, guys. Oops. <laughs> okay, shroud. And these bolts have to come back off. I just, I did take them off off the valve cover guy. Oh, we are missing some studs of some sort. Oh no. Uh, th these older ones are just a bit different than the, uh, than the 217s. The 217s, this is supported by a post. So, so the, the dipstick's going to get pulled out, pushed back down, and then put back on. Should be one more over there. There is. Okay. Now we've got two shorties that go back into the valve cover. Gotta loosen the other one. Things are just a tad off. long one helps to support the uh, air filter assembly. There we go. Starting to run out of stuff. Dropped it again. That's no, alright. Ended up in the exact same spot, too. Okay. Yeah, 
And down I went again. Got to line up the posts. Starting to look like a Honda again, isn't it? Right there. And I like to use an 8mm socket for that. You don't want to strip the steel, alright? change the oil. Be right back. Okay. I turned it on to choke. It should start. I'm just making sure the off switch works. need to choke it anymore. Come on, girl. girl. Maybe you do need a little choke. Ooh, I'm having a hard time getting, getting it to choke now. Slow it down a nice to a nice height where the hoses don't fight each other. This should work, the bigger hose. Excuse me. Saying excuse me to a camera, eh? It should fit down in there. I'm going to have to get the smaller one out after. Okay, that's about right. Not really. Oh yeah, it is. No, nope, i got to use the smaller one. not getting it all. What the heck? I'm gonna just take that apart. I'll, I'll be right back. That's right, these have a very, uh, what do you call it, flat oil sump. So I'm gonna unflatten it. That's gonna change everything.
I just cleaned out my oil sucker yesterday. Getting ready for a trip to the depot. Just let that suck by itself for a little while. I'll come back when I'm done. That's getting boring for you. Okay, I even tilted it more so I could get every little bit of oil and I took out the dipstick. I want this to be a good one. The last step. Settle out and we'll measure it. So I think we're done this one. I will do a start and stop when we're all finished. Alright guys, remember this, most Hondas are checked with the stick, with the dipstick loose. And it's right to the top of the little zigzag. I'm not 100% sure it's choking. It should start sputtering, right? It's always something, right? Every time. <laughs> Especially on these complicated old beasts. It might. It just might not be reacting to the richer condition. So we're gonna we're gonna focus in on that. The best we can. Okay, there we are. That is the choke lever right there. So we'll get a little light on the subject. If we can. Good. And you see the choke lever. So I'm going to put it on full choke now. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's coming on all the way, does it? Okay, so it's about halfway there. I can't really see it as I move the... Well, it's coming on choke, but I don't think it's coming on full blast. Oh, wah! I think I'm going to have to pull this lever back just a little bit. Remember, it's a JIS screw, so you use a JIS screwdriver. Okay, we have full choke there now. If I take this choke off, it should be the other way. We should have, the choke should go all the way. That's good. And then at full throttle, so if you look now, I'm going to move you, sorry. If you look right here, This guy hits here, which puts the choke on, okay? So on full, we're on full throttle now, but no choke. And then we go a little bit further, and that pushes that up to choke. So that's full throttle there. So I'm going to leave it on full throttle, and we're going to see what kind of RPMs we get. Make sure we're not going to muck anything up here. Just lawn more ways as much as I do. Okay, I'm going to start it and we'll just check the RPMs. If they're over 31 to 3200, I'll be a happy camper. So we should have choke now. I'm glad I checked that for you, Brian. Okay, so oh, let's start it on choke. It'll sputter.
it's not leaking. Must have just got a chunk of dirt in the uh, carburetor when I tilted it sideways. Okay. There she be, my friends. Thank you for watching. Forgot to put the choke cover plate on. I was diddling with that Phillips screw there for a while and I must have messed up the choke. Oh, completo.